Hey, it's your buddy Tim Schull, and we are back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And do you ever feel this game just eats you alive time-wise and energy-wise? I, uh, I kind of wanted to do a video on finding your zen in this game and, and when it's okay to take a pause. I mean, obviously, it's a game. You can leave it anytime you want. But, you know, if you're a serious player, like I, I think most of the folks that uh, view my videos are, um, sometimes you don't give yourself a break. And I think you, that you do need to give yourself a break because this game um, can be pretty frenetic. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about uh, how you can find your uh, zen in this game. Okay, so not kind of not much of a, a, a structure to this video. I really just kind of wanted to talk about this game and all and all the uh, requirements, both time, energy, financially, everything else that this game can take, and talk about how how to find some balance between the game and real life and taking care of yourself and the family and, and everything else that's super important. So I don't know if you notice, but uh, I tend not to make videos uh, during the week. Sometimes I will, but uh, starting um, Monday morning, I usually won't make another video till Thursday. And uh, that's because I have, I have a pretty big family. So, you know, uh, we have seven kids. Now, most of them are adult-ish. Uh, our youngest is, uh, is uh, 13. And our, our oldest is uh, 25. Um, but, uh, you know, e even the older kids, some of them uh, still are around and some are across the country. But, um, yeah, that takes a lot of time and energy and financial commitments and things like that. So this game is not super high on my priority list to... Um, to to uh, to make sure that I'm I'm getting every super uh, every little jot and tittle uh, done when it comes to um, making it happen. So I really kind of wanted to talk about um, just the timing of the game and and things that I sort of do that uh, bring me some balance and maybe it uh, you can take some of them and uh, incorporate it into your into your gameplay if you are as sort of. Uh, addicted to this game uh, as I am. So I'm going to go ahead and end this. Um, I think 129 million is uh, pretty good. So I guess that would be the first thing, right? Call good, call good, good, right? Um, a lot of times I cut my runs off. If I get the one key or whatever, I'll cut it off. I mean, I'm not interested in, in, um, in all the, uh, in all of the minutia of you know, who can get 200 million on clan boss and who got a 13 second spider run, right? I mean, I got like a 25 second spider run. That's fine for me. I have different fire night teams. I mean, some can do a minute and a half, but it's not a hundred percent. So I'm like, I'd rather do two minutes and get a hundred percent, right? So, you know, don't, don't get caught up in the detail unless you love that stuff, right? If you're a one trick pony or if you have the time and resources to, to get caught up, go ahead. But um, I'm saying for most of us, I think it's probably okay to leave well enough alone. My second um, piece of advice would be to pick your area. So if you want to be a Hydra guy, be a Hydra guy. If you want to be an uh, arena guy, be an arena guy. If you want to do... Uh, Doom Tower waves or Doom Tower bosses. I mean, I would say, you know, pick a lane and um, get good at it. I mean, obviously, you kind of have to do everything else in the game, but um, but uh, I would say don't stress out over every piece of the game because there's just too much of it, and uh, gear is gets too... Uh, the gear requirements uh, will force you to, to kind of drive yourself crazy trying to re-gear... Uh, champions all the time and I'll, I'll give you a for instance so I'm not super interested in the Doom Tower I mean I, I, I like to do it I actually look forward to it and I get kind of sad when Doom Tower is over but there are some secret rooms that I'm just not interested in, in doing like this one is especially hard for me I don't know if, if you guys are the same but the rare attack champions only because there's really no support in here so you got to kind of nuke these guys down or stun set them all and CC them and um, I'm not super interested in that. So um, I'm probably not gonna finish that. The only other room that I didn't finish yet, and I think that I will, is this one, because uh, there is some support uh, in here and I can probably get that done. And uh, I usually keep up with Doom Tower, so I'm done with hard and then normal's obviously just a walk in the park. And so I usually have five or six days at the end of 
what the is it a week or a month or whatever this is yeah it's a month um, to uh, I could probably pick up uh, one of those rooms or two so so we'll see so I, so yeah if, if you can't do it who cares like if I if I don't get those three fragments for the next ridiculous uh, champion who cares oh by the way I just got um, uh, I just got this guy you, you guys tell me if he's any good I think he looks pr pretty cool um, this guy Varl right I like he's got uh, he's got some built-in lifesteal um, he's got some uh, decrease attack uh, and weaken and um, he's got uh, a block damage uh, he increases uh, the target's defense and uh, max HP and uh, puts a block damage on himself if he kills somebody. And this is, uh, is interesting is uh, he'll increase his attack percentage um, each time he uses an active skill. So, gosh, I'm thinking maybe maybe I switch out my uh, my Tormin in my clan boss team and uh, let him sort of uh, rank up. I don't know. I don't know. He looks kind of interesting. But when I looked at him, when I looked at him, um, let's see. His reviews are terrible. I mean, terrible. Now, I'm wondering, is that because people are so uh, salty because it takes so long to get him and he doesn't really do anything that you need by the time you get him? So, maybe. Um, not my favorite looking champ. What is this thing on his back? Some kind of chain. Chain, what is that? Is that a weapon or armor? What is that? Anyway, I think they tried too hard with these, uh, his weapons. Um, other than that, I think uh, he looks pretty cool. I wish this was a little more um, detailed or subtle or interesting kind of, uh, yeah. But I think he's a pretty cool looking um, and, and, and interesting kit, so I might build him. But anyway, back to my topic. <laughs> Yeah. If I if you know if I can't get the next three shards or if I miss out on six shards for the next ridiculous uh, Doom Tower champion, who cares, right? So it take me another um, it take me another two days, I guess, when you get the reset to get uh, the shards for it. So that doesn't seem like a terribly big deal for me. So the next thing I would say is when you are when you get a chance i don't know if you ever find yourself doing this but i find myself um at times i got kind of nothing to do so i'll just kind of bop around and i'll do some arena and i'll do some that and i'm like what am i doing like this is this is sort of the game giving me a break i don't need to look for things to do uh in the game so when the game gives you a break and you're between um when you're between fusions or clan v clan and that's wrapped up and you got nothing to do take that opportunity to do nothing because uh yeah as you know um the things come fast and furious so uh we're about to start up uh the uh, fragment summons for this guy where is he at where is he at is he here um i don't need help I don't need help. I'm trying to build another Yannicka so I can feed, and I think I'll have a plus four Yannicka when that's all done. Same with Yakarl. I mean, I'm just collecting fragments for them. Um, where is our buy buy something the thorn? Let's see. Interesting. Is he not? Uh, oh, here he is. Bivald the thorn. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. People are, are talking about him like he's the second coming, but I don't know. I can tell you what bothers me is this. <clears throat> Decrease the damage taken by all allies from enemies under provoke. If he provokes him, he's only going to get attacked. So I guess he decreases to himself. And let's say I have an AOE A1, like a torment or something. So he'll decrease. But that seems like a goofy, semi-goofy. Like, I, I get it maybe on Magma Dragon. Um, he'll be pretty good because uh, he'll be a good magma dragon tank but honestly that's the easiest doom tower boss there is so that's starting up the first uh, event is the dragon uh, tournament which is uh, online right now I believe but um, but after you know I mean so we had a very very easy clan v clan and so that was sort of wrapped up early on and so I took the I took the time to uh, kind of do nothing right I, I kind of did nothing um, just let let stuff farm up and uh, make sure I get uh, everything uh, that uh, 
I needed to get for the CVC. And I, and I feel kind of bad for these guys because, um, you know, they announced that there wasn't going to be any personal rewards. And then uh, in the last minute, they're like, nope, psych, personal rewards. So these guys might have not been as ready. Um, they don't seem uh, to be as uh, active a Clan 13 medals uh, compared to our 19. So, um, yeah, so we obviously, we have a 400,000. Um, and you can see everybody made it, which is awesome. So that's a sign of a really, really uh, good clan. So and you can see here's your boy, number seven. And uh, it wasn't that difficult. I, Well, I, I waited to fuse um, that Doom Tower champion, and I had some other things um, in the bank. So um, I really just had to farm spider um, and, uh, and made that happen. So, so with that being said, take that time uh, when you get a chance and, uh, and uh, enjoy it, right? So, uh, so when you come back and there's things going on, you're not already burnt out and get, uh, and get a little bit salty. So with that being said, and as I wrap this up, I am curious, um, I've been going back and forth with a, uh, one of our clan mates, um, uh, Zol Zolwick, who I talked about in my last, um, in my last video. And he is a Hydra specialist and, uh, he got me, so I, I was able to one key brutal, uh, just basically, and then look at this, uh, look at this number on um, hard. I mean, that's, yeah. Now he's saying I can swap out a Duchess for another uh, Cardiel, but uh, I tried that and Duchess just brings so much to the party. I kept getting one shot and I didn't have a reviver. And so, um, and I've got no real defense down in this uh, comp. Now maybe I could keep his uh, block or uh, a revive on death up, but it was just, I mean, a hundred, and again, 106 million for me is amazing and uh, makes the, uh, getting this um, dead so everyone gets uh, two chests uh, goes a long way. And then normal has gotten to the point where you can pretty much throw uh, anything and get your uh, normal keys. And they are gonna be nerfing it, so that's gonna be interesting. So um, I'm gonna play with it, but, but one of the things he said was it might be a, a good video um, because I learned a lot. I learned a lot about how Geomancer works and about timings, um, Crisk timings and Ugo timings. Um, you can see there, I, I don't have any, and none of these teams have any uh, Shamal in them. So um, I wouldn't have thought that you could do um, these, these, uh, this round of Hydra without a Shamal because those fears would uh, would eat you alive and uh, there's a way around that. So let me know if that would be an interesting video. Um, I've done a Hydra video or two in the past and didn't seem all that popular. So um, I'll wait uh, to hear from you. So um, yeah, let me know if you have any tricks on uh, maintaining a good balance around this game. I'm always looking for um, some advice as well. So uh, we will see you tomorrow. We'll do uh, our shard pull for the um, fusion or fragment summons and um yeah have a great uh thursday and we'll see you friday god bless